It was the idea to measure a component that's used in almost every transmission that's on the road. You know, these parts are made very fast. They have to quarantine parts if they have an issue and they have to check all of them. The current method of measuring it takes about 20 minutes to measure one component. When the customer asked me what we could do to decrease his inspection time, my first thought was non-contact gauging. And not having the expertise level in that area, that's where we contacted the University of Windsor and asked them if they could assist us in developing uh, algorithms. We had a meeting with the company and we started uh, to discuss the details of the project and we started working with them. We are working on a core algorithm to filter data and extract the features of the parts that we are um, examining. And several students here at the university all work together on creating the algorithms to filter all this data. Students have a good knowledge, but the skills are lacking. When they go to company and, and they work on industry project, they also learn the skills. So they apply their knowledge to a real world problem. It took us about a year to get it down to a point where everybody was comfortable with the answers that we were getting. We had the gauge at a customer's plant and he had to check a full run of parts and he calculated 34 hours conventionally. We did it in 90 minutes. We effectively reduced the time for testing by 93%. The hope is to be able to export this all over the world it's being designed here, it's going to be built here. We've already created one full-time job. We have several interns working on the project also. So it is creating employment for Canadians. We are a small company, uh, 15 employees. We allocate a certain percentage of our sales and profits every year to capital expenditures and to R&D. The cost of developing this was beyond our capabilities without assistance from Windsor and the University of Windsor. At the end of the first phase, the company was the one who suggested to continue and invest on the project and take it to the next phase. We both learned a lot about what's out there and what's available to each other and how to work together.